the total football philosophy pioneered by Renus Meckels and epitomized by the Dutch national team during the 1974 World Cup was one of the most innovative and influential approaches to football ever seen. It was not just a tactical setup, but an entirely new way of thinking about the game, fundamentally changing how football was played. The key principle of total football was fluidity, where no player was confined to a single rigid position. Players were expected to constantly move, interchange roles, and cover for each other depending on the situation on the field, creating a dynamic, unpredictable system that made it incredibly difficult for opponents to mark or counter. The formation typically associated with total football was a nominal 4-3-3, but in practice it was far more fluid than traditional formations. The goalkeeper and defenders, rather than simply clearing the ball, played a critical role in building from the back. The two center backs would split wide when in possession, allowing the full backs to push high up the pitch, almost as additional wingers, creating width in attack. The midfield trio was also highly versatile. While one player might be designated to hold the midfield, the others were given freedom to join the attack or drop back to support the defense. This constant movement created numerical advantages in different areas of the pitch. Johan Nieskens, a central midfielder, often surged forward into the box, acting almost as a second striker at times. Johan Kreef was the system's linchpin, and while he was often listed as a forward, he essentially had a free role. Kreef was the embodiment of the total football concept, as he constantly roamed the pitch, dictating play, dropping deep to receive the ball, and then moving forward to create attacking opportunities. His intelligence, vision, and technical ability allowed him to seamlessly switch between playmaker, winger, and striker roles, making him impossible to mark. His movement would drag defenders out of position, opening up space for his teammates to exploit. Defensively, Meckles' system relied on intense pressing. The team would swarm the opposition as soon as they lost possession, with the aim of winning the ball back high up the field. This aggressive pressing often referred to as Gagan pressing in modern football, was designed to disrupt the opponent's build-up play and prevent counterattacks. The entire team, including forwards and midfielders, was involved in this defensive effort, making it difficult for opponents to find space and time on the ball. The compactness of the team, with players positioned close to each other, allowed for quick transitions between defense and attack. When the ball was recovered, the Dutch could immediately launch fast, fluid counterattacks, taking advantage of the disorganized state of the opposition. Michels placed a huge emphasis on spatial awareness and positional play. The team would constantly shift its shape depending on where the ball was, ensuring that they always had numerical superiority in key areas. Players were trained to understand when to push forward, when to drop back, and how to position themselves to create passing lanes or close them off defensively. This required incredible tactical intelligence and fitness, as the players had to cover vast amounts of ground while maintaining sharpness both physically and mentally. The attacking philosophy of total football was based on ball retention and constant movement off the ball. The Dutch would dominate possession, patiently circulating the ball to draw the opposition out of their defensive shape. The fullbacks and wingers would stretch the play, providing width, while midfielders and forwards interchanged positions, confusing defenders and creating openings. Triangular passing patterns were a key feature, allowing the team to maintain possession while advancing up the field. The speed and precision of their passing, combined with their off-the-ball movement, made it extremely difficult for opponents to predict or disrupt their play. The 1974 Dutch team, led by Michels, was also defined by its collective spirit. Despite having standout players like Cruyff, the team functioned as a cohesive unit, with every player contributing to all phases of the game. It wasn't about relying on individual brilliance, but rather about orchestrating a collective system where the sum of the parts was greater than any individual. Even the forwards were expected to track back and contribute defensively, while defenders were comfortable joining the attack when necessary. This approach required players to be exceptionally versatile and fit. Every player needed to have a high technical level to maintain possession under pressure, 
as well as the tactical intelligence to read the game and understand when to move into different positions. Michel's training methods were intense and focused heavily on fitness and tactical drills, ensuring that his players could execute this demanding style of play for the full 90 minutes. In summary, Renus Mikkel's total football with the Netherlands in 1974 was a revolutionary approach based on fluidity, adaptability, and collective intelligence. It relied on a high-pressing defense, constant movement, and positional flexibility, with every player expected to contribute to both defense and attack. Johan Kraft's free role as a roaming forward was central to the system, but the success of the team was built on a collective understanding of space and movement making them one of the most influential teams in football history. While they fell short in the 1974 World Cup final, their style left a lasting